Good evening, everybody. I'm joined by Deputy Commissioner Cherie Briscoe and Lieutenant Colonel Mark Howe. Tonight at around 7.34 p.m., police officers working in the downtown deployment area of this downtown section this weekend heard gunshots. They ran toward the gunshots they heard and within seconds located two victims, a 17-year-old male and a 17-year-old female, both with apparent gunshots to the upper body. They both, uh, officers rendered aid to both victims and made sure that they were rushed to area hospitals. What we know right now is that the male victim, who is 17, has most recently been pronounced. The female victim is at last check in stable condition. What we believe right now is that they were in this area in the 300 block of Pratt Street. At some point, some type of confrontation ensued where the gunman, who could have been with a crowd or, or maybe alone, pulled out a gun and began firing. It is unknown if either were the intended targets, but both were shot. It is unknown if the male and female victims were together. All we know right now is that both of them were shot. The male has been pronounced. The female is now in stable condition. And the perpetrator at this point has made good of his escape, but we are calming through camera footage. We are looking for more cameras. What we need right now is for anyone who would have heard or seen anything to please call us right away. Or you can do it anonymously by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Once again, this is an unnecessary tragedy that has happened. It's about young people carrying guns, young people with the willingness to use those guns indiscriminately in crowds. It's about parents not knowing where their young people are and what they're involved in. It is about them having a total disregard for human life and a total lack of respect and disregard for authority and law enforcement who was right here in the very block where this happened. And so we have to deal with these issues and not just think about police, but change people and how people think and solve their conflict. I have spoke, spoken directly to the mayor who has expressed his concern about this incident and we send our condolences to the family of the, the life that's lost. But this is not just shocking, but frustrating and angering. We want to make sure we catch the person who did this because more people could have been hurt. So if anyone has heard anything about this or saw anything, Please call us or please call Crime Stoppers right away. 1-866-7-LOCKUP.